Oh, baby. Tonight's episode was everything. We are back and better than ever and blacker than ever because this entire episode was about sex, room selections, bathrooms, more sex, pettiness, and quick shade. Please give it up. Wait. We got the beautiful Joy. First of all, we got the beautiful Joy. Hey. <laughs> and I just noticed Cliff Tons, um, <laughs> hitter. My mama named me Clifton. What What is that about Clifton? I mean, everybody shortens my name on purpose. I don't know where they get that from, but I think it's the thing that, you know, maybe it's a, like illiteracy. Everybody wants to short my name. My name is actually Clifton. We can, we can spell over here. Well, oh, oh, not only can you spell, allegedly you can read. So we know, and not read, <laughs> read, baby. So I haven't seen you two in a long time. It's great seeing, how have you two been? It's been a while since I've seen the two of you and you two are in separate locations. So what's going yes. on? So I'm, I had to, I had to come handle some business in Los Angeles and she had to handle business in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta for the Harvey Foundation Mothers Enrichment Summit for the third time. <laughs> oh, you mean the fact that you're not a mother and you're at an event? Hey, Tisha, that. you're at an event honoring mothers again for the third time. Oh, and then me. <laughs> not, not third time's a charm. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna say, Clinton? There to I mean, and me, I came out here. I have friends here that live here, and we you know. We sit on the floor. We didn't really go to a borrow suite. Pop, pop. <laughs> come back, Carlos. Come back. Okay. So, so me and my twenty-nine inch waist was not ready for that level of shade. So, Clifton, you um. <clears throat> You're in LA. You went to see the Clippers or the Lakers? I went to see the Clippers today. We, we, I mean, they sweat on me. And then maybe on Monday, uh, the Lakers. Oh, and, and you sit on the floor. Absolutely. I mean, that's if you want to go to a game, that's the only way to go to a game. I don't. I want to be in the game. You know what I mean? Like I'm a, I'm a real basketball fan. I don't want to watch it from way up here. Are you alleging that uh, the suite that the siblings had was borrowed? Because you know, when you get married, you get something blue, uh, <laughs> something, something new. <laughs> and something new, child. So the blue was obviously the blues of the atmosphere was in the room. What was new was the energy. But what was, what was borrowed? The 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 suite itself. I mean, we should have borrowed a telescope. You couldn't see the game. What? <laughs> there was a game happening? Right. So who was playing? Joy, don't be out encouraging your, your, your husband. Be oh, no, we a team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to the comments, uh, you two are their favorite couple. Uh, they are also team petty. Before we get into tonight's episode and what's been happening thus far this season, Obviously, you two have a very huge fan base from the game show Ready to Love, hosted by Steve Harvey's protege, nephew Tommy. So <laughs> this is so funny and shady, and I love you two for it. So <laughs> I can't even do my job. I'm having so much fun. So on Ready to Love, obviously, is where you two met, and you two really do have a lot of supporters. How has the fan support been so far this season for the two of you? I mean, it's been probably bigger than it was when we was on the show. Um, people really wa are, want to protect us. Like people are like, look, if you need us to roll up on them, if you, I mean, I mean, people are ready to go. Oh, yeah. Like, look, yes. it ain't, you know, this is this last year. It ain't, you know, like people really are like, they're immersed in this, but more because it's so negative, because it's so toxic. They're just like, you guys were coming from a show of love, and then now you just dropped into this, 
you know, nice little boiling water of toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what you get? So Clifton, when you're um at the game in the floor seats, do you get approached by some of the fans of the show too, whether it's Ready to Love or Love and Marriage DC? Well, so most of the people recognize us from Ready to Love. So they, yes, I got recognized. Oh my God. The, ga the game show. They recognize us from oh, the game show. Yes. The game show. Guess what? We had like stars. We picked the right cards, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and the prize at the end was you were each other's prize. Mm -hmm. So yes. now on Love and Marriage DC, well, we're seeing that, listen, I'm telling you, the comments are going crazy. You guys have so much love for these people. You know, um, a lot of people have love for the two of you. And it's beautiful to see, obviously, the second half of this season is the continuation of the Christmas party. One thing I will say about you, Joy, I had no idea you are shady and have great <laughs> comedic bites. My favorite thing you said that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Which part was that? I didn't, part? Listen, no, I didn't realize, no, but I, I said this on Twitter. Of, of all of my, my shows, Bell Collective, Huntsville, Detroit, what, Bold and Bougie, Love and Marriage DC cast to me, y'all are the funniest. Y'all are funny to me. I, I, I tell people all the time, Love and Marriage DC cast hands down, are the funniest cast. Y'all, the way y'all are able, all of y'all are funny. So at the Christmas party, one thing you said that I literally laughed out loud was when you were recapping what was happening at the Christmas party, and you said something about um, some, what, what'd you say, troll? Like, the curly hair troll. Come <laughs> <laughs> up and up the stand. Oh. It's when you really no. It's when you said um, a bitch couldn't get a chicken. What? <laughs> yes, I couldn't get a chicken wing or a drink or nothing. You got to run right into the drama. You know that was the part that made me look. I mean, a bitch couldn't get a chicken wing, a, a drink, or nothing. No, I, thought, I couldn't. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. So <laughs> obviously, we'll we talk a lot about this at the reunion, but you going into Ashley's party right? Her Christmas Eve Eve party. The only person who knew was Irena. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And why didn't you feel the need to tell? I knew she was going also. I was in the hospital. Yeah. Right. You was getting back surgery. Yes. Right. Well, was, he, he was, was, he was to transferred to uh, rehab. Okay. That um, rehab. Rehabilitation for the back. Yes, for the back. Because on reality TV, when you say rehab. <laughs> yes, sorry, rehabilit physical as, rehabilitation. As I my drink. <laughs> right, as, as, as he sips his cognac. Yes. So you were you were rehabbing your, your you know, post-surgery. So you knew, Joy, why didn't you let Ashley know? You know, be a text, you know, like, I'm going to come. Or did you want to, like, surprise her? I wanted to surprise her. It, it really was that. I wanted to surprise her. Um, And when I came to the house, you know, you know, you got to walk on the first floor. I said hello to everybody who was on the first floor, walked downstairs and I walked straight. I know they were on the, the ladies were like on the other side, but I walked straight because the first person I saw was Jamie, you know, comfortable, neutral territory. Black was there, you know, then I saw uh, little Jamie, Brett. And when I turned around, Ashley was right there and it was like, hey, and it was pleasant. You know, you came. She grabbed my hand. She held my hand and was like, well, we need to talk. Let's go talk. I got a question before. Can, I need to go. Like, everybody got nicknames, right? We got somebody that's called a colorful crayon. And then we got, also got somebody that's like either fast or, you know, not that fast. So can I change? Can I get a nickname, too? I want to change my name on the show. I thought well, you was a sassy ass. Yeah. Oh, but no, it's Big Burly. <laughs> and that's Pitch. your nickname? That's what it is, right? That's what it is? That's... I mean, I heard it so many times. That's not what it is. I, that's what I heard. But I feel like I should actually na name myself because everybody else named themselves, right? What would you like to call yourself, baby? I don't know, but but see what my shirt says? No, no. because something else. Okay. Oh, well, I uh, this is uh, rated PG-13. That, that uh, it says <laughs> FC UK. French Connection. <laughs> <laughs> So Clifton, obviously you weren't there. 
um, at right. the Christmas Eve, Eve party. So you watch it all unfold on the show. Real talk, what was your first reaction into seeing the completion of what occurred? I mean, I was like, you did that shit. <laughs> that's my first reaction. <laughs> like, that's right, gonna baby. That's it's going to end with this word right here. Take your candy that cane. Word. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, support, I support my joy. <laughs> Even if I was think... laid up, yes. Yes, yes. Um, speaking of being called sassy, um, a big burly bitch. Are those words that offend you when you're when you're being called that? Because I have another show where um, the word sassy is being thrown around. Um, on Married to Medicine, the word sassy is being thrown around in men direction. And I want to really want to ask you this seriously. When when you get called sassy by Ashley or when men on reality TV are told like stay out of women's business, you're sassy. What are your thoughts on that? Word well, being, you, being used? So in this perspective, I think that no one thinks or she thinks no one's allowed to say anything back to her. So if you say something back to her, then you're sassy. But the definition of sassy is what? You're outspoken. You're loud. I'm a verbal person. We can talk, but if she was trying to insinuate something else, then say that. That might be why the slow friend isn't there anymore. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are. Ooh, I was not expecting this level of, uh, of, of heat, child. Misty Word said they are shady AF, and I love it. Um, Joy, on my show, Love and Marriage Huntsville, we have a cast member named Stormy who referred to Tisha Scott's husband as a bitch. Mm -hmm. And she called him a bitch multiple times in front of his wife. Um, obviously, in, in, in a similar situation, your husband's been called sassy, a bitch, and all those things in front of you. And thank As God the, for the cameras. You said what? Thank God for the cameras. What... As, as, as you know, obviously you two are a team and you're very protective of each other. As a wife, hearing another woman call your man that, how did that make you feel? It's just a, ref I feel like it's just a reflection of that person and how she sees her spouse. Um, I don't, Good point. See, you know, I don't, I respect every person, every man and every woman. Um, her, you know, Ashley calling Clifton, you know, a bitch is probably what she thinks of her husband. But it's a double standard because if I said bitch back, then it would have been a problem, right? Oh no, remember, remember, Ashley is she doesn't take offense to you calling her that. She no, said that for you. I don't I never I never no, said that word. Anybody, but it was funny when she caught an attitude about that, me saying that in the house mm. at the Christmas party. All of a sudden, now because I called you a bitch in your house. Now it's a problem. But if I call you a bitch any other time, I mean, you, you need, we need a handbook for her. You know what? <laughs> we have, in the Is budget, there a manual? Because I don't know. On it. Tuesday, what can we do? Look, in, do we have any money in the budget for an exorcism? I don't think anyone needs exorcism. <laughs> we need to purge the demons. Something. Her hands win. I can't win and lay some hands on her. <laughs> Is that the new trouble? What's a new throuple? I mean, because before we were considered the throuple. Now, you know, there's Ashley, Winter, and her husband, right? You you think there's some throubling going on over there? I'm just saying. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here, but like, you know, <laughs> jumped over there real fast. So like I don't know, but Winter's dating everybody. <laughs> oh. Well. Well, oh, God. First it, what was it? First it was Yusha. Now she dating Ashley. And then I'm Ashley done with her. Carlos, you got you got some dates open? First of all, I don't date cast members. Wrong producer, boo-boo. <laughs> I don't date cast. <laughs> Wrong producer, child. She, I have an African baby. She dating, and... she dating who she got to to stay on the show. True. So I I'm... have this palm tree because a lot of shades. So I'm going to keep it here because I think my reactions are a little... Uh, 
I, I'm trying to keep a straight face, Paul. <laughs> well, do you? <laughs> Why? I need my oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Where's your oxygen? Yes. You need to breathe. Relax. I love wait, my breathe. Breathe. They, they know all my props, child. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> Okay, so me and my palm tree child. Um, um, do you think winter dates to get a stable job on the show? <laughs> um, is this question for this is a question for Joy? I assume. Yeah, go ahead. Well, go ahead you know, if I was to be shady, I would say you need a storyline. <laughs> I'm going to sip my tea. We call this a long out. <laughs> if we go, listen, if we're going to go in, we're going to go in tonight. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's mean, go. Listen, they've been going in on us. We, I mean, it, it seems like a slight obsession. It, it really does. <laughs> I mean, her husband at home that much, she's probably thinking about me a little bit. It's okay. Like, I'm not really mad at that. You said her husband what? He ain't never around. She might think about me a little bit. It's a slight obsession. She always talking about us, like you know, like it's like a high school crush. She do talk about you a lot. See, see what I'm saying? Big, big, burly. Big, burly. She be thinking it's about that. Done. She like she yeah. emphasized on. You might have a little big crush, burly, because like she don't have that. She got Papa Smurf. So I mean, <laughs> hmm. I was not, uh, I know, White Tiger, they said breathe, Carlos, breathe. Child, I may need to go get my blood pressure machine, honey, and see if my 150 over 100, because <laughs> the temperature is rising and I'm not in Florida for a change. So, uh, Clifton, <laughs> I have to ask you, what are your thoughts on Quick? Because, you know, we saw the scene where he was walking with Ashley and he did say that he did call you to really understand mm -hmm. what was happening. What can you say to me, the raindrops and the, the, the game show fanatics of Ready to Love? What, what, uh, what is going on with your Something internet? Something's happening with the connection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. Carlos, did you pay your bill? You got to pay the bill. Hello. <laughs> I had to reset that router. You got to reset it. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, blink twice if you're okay. You can't. Type in the chat. <laughs> Go with <laughs> Yes, he went into shock. Get <laughs> myself together. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> are we back? We're back. Can y'all see me? Are we good? Yeah, but you're 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 pixelated. Uh, let me see something. Is that better, Joy, or no? Mm hmm Am I better? Yes. You're you're moving. I'm moving. Okay, yes. so we're good. Okay, okay. That was the reality of universe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know Jay Des Larey, that was the mannequin challenge. Okay, what was the conversation like between you and Quick that we weren't able to see or hear? So I'm honestly the conversation, it was cordial. I explained what happened. I you know, I told him exactly what happened from my you know perspective, of course. He Real quick, Clifton, did he call you or you called him? So he called me. I missed his call. And then I called him back. I don't know. Some time later, I was doing something with my son. So I called him back. We spoke. And he said, you know, Ashley told me you disrespected her. I'm like, well, that never happened. You know, I never disrespected her. Like, to me, in my opinion, I guess people's opinion of disrespect is different. Disrespect to me is like if I call you, you know, you out of your name, I yell at you, right? In my opinion, in viewer's opinion, I, I was cool, calm, and collected. Now, I may have leaned in. I may have did a little shimmy, 
but I'm gonna give you the same energy you gave him, you given to me, right? And if you can't take that and that's disrespect, then look up the definition of disrespect. So the way the conversation ended was he said, I'm gonna have to get you handled and hung up the phone. So apparently they like either finished watching power right before that and they felt like they was gangster. So, you know, and then we see each other and then this, the energy is not there anymore. So I'm like, I mean, either you're a philanthropist or you're what? Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> and you know, we all know what happened to Ghost. Wow, well, oh my God, <laughs> flip this. Stop it now. Y'all have to do it <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. At the end of the day, one thing that we want to <laughs> ensure is that there everyone feels safe. So in the in the suite, um, obviously, Ashley felt that you were, you know, um, egging her on with with your movement and my movement, but I said no way. So you saw it. What do you think? Tell me what you thought. Well, first off, let's 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 back it on up. She was finishing a conversation with me and we were done and we went back into the suite and I walked in first and she was behind me. She walked straight to Clifton. And began to have that, you know, energy with him for what? Your husband left. He went down to the floor which is where you should have went. You shouldn't have walked up the Clifton. And that, and I think that's the only reason it feels <laughs> dark to us is because I support Joy and she doesn't have that same support from him, right? He's not there in certain scenarios. He's missing, you know, he's not there. I don't, I mean, and I don't know what happens in their home life, but But that's, that's a I fact. Think. He isn't there in the scenarios in which things like this pop off. And then it's, it's all of a sudden, you know, throw a rock, hide your hand type situation. Well, he did this. He, no, he didn't. And and you know, I with I can understand a husband wanting to protect their wife. Completely understand that. But I also understand we all have a job to do, and we all also want to be able to coexist in the same space. And I know the men don't have an issue. And it'd be one thing if it's one of those like, you know what, let's let's try to find some way to work this out. Instead, once Quick didn't care and sided with Ashley, and I completely understand, but no one's agreeing with you, Ashley. It was, it, that didn't happen. That's not- Well, there were multiple witnesses happened. and he's an actual, he, he was a detective, right? So, I mean, I, with, with the first 48. And then, can I just say the one thing? Cause I watched the episode, right? And- <laughs> <laughs> and and quick says uh says something along the lines of well how come Jamie didn't jump in well sir how come you left the suite and first and foremost I didn't address her she came to me so like I'm not allowed to say anything back I mean well, well, this... that, that was my question because for example marriage and medicine those men get called names and stay out of women's business Nene leaks herself has uh, unfortunately made men feel like they can't talk. <laughs> and so, they, and and they should. should. But and the they show should. is called right? Love and Marriage DC. We're a youth. Right. This show so is different. If you right. say something to me, I'm not supposed to be able to say anything back. I'm supposed to be quiet. That's not how life works. If you, like, in reality, if you come over to me and you're in my space and you say A, B, C, D, I'm not, I'm just supposed to sit there and be mute, right? Well, guess what? We still have a show. Yeah, but this also and wasn't I'm, women and business. I have an opinion. Yeah, the show was based on how we live and an opinion. If I don't address my opinion or give you my opinion, that's another problem in itself, right? Mm -hmm. But this I'll wasn't feel, women business, uh, though. This I'll wasn't women's business. This was this was yeah. her starting business with Clifton. Women's business was me and Ashley. And if Quick would have interjected himself, or if Clifton interjected, that's getting into women's business. But this wasn't women's business at all. There's people in the comments, there's a couple of people in the comments, Clifton, who felt like, you know, it should have stayed <clears throat> between 
Joy and Ashley, and that perhaps you should not have um, instead of yourself. I, I obviously watched it. What I did see. How did I insert myself? She didn't insert herself. I was standing. She beeline right to me. Right. She walked Where over to him insert, and started talking to him. He didn't start talking eyes. to her. He was sitting down initially. With my arms folded just like this. So it looked like they say in high school, she started it. <laughs> Tell me what insertion means then. I should I should say nothing back. Well, that that's 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 the question that some of the people in the comments are having in terms of in these situations, and that's the reason why I wanted to bring to the forefront, because <clears throat> this show is about obviously couples and you know the the dynamics of men and women in these social circles, right? So the reason why I love this franchise is because it's not a show about just women who may have an issue or just men who may have an issue. Right. It's about, you know, married couples. And based on what I've seen throughout my lifetime, when married couples are around each other with no cameras, they interject their opinions with the opposite sex, especially if it's a, <clears throat> a group of married couples. It's not mm -hmm. that a woman says something and the other man who may be married to her friend don't say anything that like that that's not real life and that's the reason why i wanted to make sure to bring that to the forefront because mm -hmm. there are people who <clears throat> do feel like you did nothing wrong do you know there are some people who feel like okay should you have maybe just not said anything at all so oh, i want to opportunity first off no no married woman should be addressing another man without your husband present period And that's on that. <laughs> you two are a hot mess. And clearly you two are made for each other. So after this week, we see that it appears that Irena is in the middle of all of this. Um, what we love about, you know, the show too was the fact that we all enjoy Ashley and Irena's friendship. Um, <clears throat> based on what happened at the Christmas party, it then became like Irena, you know what I'm saying, was definitely in the middle. Did you feel like that was fair for Irena? And do you feel like Irena had to pick a side? And did she pick a side? No, I didn't think that was the case. Um, I don't think that was the case at all. Uh, you know, um, well, you know, so I'll say this. She's in the middle because she's in the middle. Like in the middle, you, one person may not feel like they're getting as much as att attention as they want. And that's something that I don't know about because I'm on the other side. I'm on the other side of the middle. So I don't know um, how, you know, Arena wants everybody to be all right. You know, but if Ashley feels as though Arena wasn't really being there for her, that's between Arena and Ashley. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I don't know. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, and that, that's exactly. I was like, you know, she is Arena's in the middle. It's not that she had to choose a side. I think what started to happen is the actions of Ashley became a bit unattractive. And it's one of those, like, it's, if you as a person don't subscribe to what that person is doing, you don't like what they're doing, it's disrespectful, you know, at some point, like, yeah, I may not start aligning with you. I may not start befriending you as much as because you and I are not on the same page when it comes to how we treat people. And that's just a natural gravitation. I'm not saying like she chose just because. It's just that, you know, her actions, Ashley's actions have consequences. And it may just be that people don't want to fuck with you. Were there conversations that Irena had with you where you felt that she really, she really felt a certain way about what was happening? Because, you know, there's people who say, Irena clearly, you know, chose a side of joy. Ashley feels that way, that she clearly chose her side. Based on your conversations with Irena, was it more so that she just felt like right is right, wrong is wrong? And yes. in this particular situation, I just feel like Ashley is wrong. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, it was right is right, wrong is wrong. I mean, you, I mean, you'll see like no one is agreeing with what happened in the suite, and there's nothing, there's nothing that can change that. You know what I mean? Um, and I and I think at some point, perhaps Ashley wanted that to happen. Like, you know, well, forget what happened in the suite. We can still be friends. Like, nah, that's that's not quite what's happening. You're not admitting to what happened to the, in the suite. And because of that, everyone is unable to come together and move forward. Because now the division, which was once just with the women, is now with the men too. So, yeah, it's just a snowball effect. <laughs> And Not really with all the men. It's like short division. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> best, best, best. So, Clifton, um, based on the last two episodes, Twitter went crazy because there seemed to be a game of telephone with the word jealous being thrown around, right? Mm -hmm. So you had to sit down with Quick, and he asked you if you felt that there was, you know, some jealousy there on Joy's part to his wife. Can you clear up what was said? Because people are saying that Ashley took, that Quick used the word jealous, brought it to mm -hmm. Ashley, and you never once uttered those words. Did you feel like that is the big reason Correct. why all of this is happening? Because Quick took the wrong word to his wife. Things get misconstrued, I, I would assume, in translation, right? I know what I said. I definitely did not say jealous now when when he relayed the message to her i wasn't there like just pillow talk at that point so you know he's they're their biggest cheerleaders and you should be but i'm not going to change what happened for the sake of viewership i'm going to tell you exactly what happened and this is how it is I'm not going to change it to make it the situation better either there was never a part in that scene where i said jealous I wanted to understand what the issue was. What do you think the issue is? That she's jealous. <laughs> I didn't say it though. That's what I <laughs> no, you do think that, Joy. <laughs> what look, I do? I, look, I mean, the, uh, we can we can go with what was shown on TV and what we see. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes, Ashley is jealous. She is. But she's jealous. jealous of what, though? I'm, so I'm listen. I'm that girl that she thought she was gonna be. Like that's that's what it is. Tell me what you think she's jealous of exactly. Joy. The friendship with Arena. Oh. Okay. Um, the fans not uh uh being on her side with her childish behavior. Um, I think she thought having those moments was gonna like really give her those Nene leak moments, and it just blew up in her face. One thing that you said that we had to cut out because um, <laughs> obviously it's a it's a it's a it's a network thing. Oh, um, sorry. Um, thought she was gonna have a housewife no, 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 moment. No, 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 no. I oh. wanted. Uh, I, was, I was gonna say something. <laughs> During the argument at the Christmas party, you did say something like, "You want to be Nene Leaks, Kenya Moore." You were naming other housewives. Oh, because that's what she put in her text. We were in a group chat. And in the group chat, she's like, come on, I'm the NeNe Leakes. I'm the Kenya Moore. Yes. What I'm, not, I'm not, I'm we not, we're pulling from truth here. What, <laughs> what did she say that in reference to? No, saying like, that's what she wants. That's what she wants to be. She's like, come on. Like, I'm, I'm the NeNe Leakes. Like, I, I'm, I want the NeNe Leakes. I want, the, I want to be, the, I'm the Kenya Moore. Like, you know, that, that spotlight, that, that's, that's what I want. That's what it is. That's who I am. It's in the group chat. So that's why you said it. That's why who said it? No, no, no. When you, when you, when you said though, when you said you want to be Kenya more needy. Yes, because I'm pulling from what she said in the group chat. Yes, when I said you want this show, you want this, you want to be Nini. You because this is what she said in the chat. <laughs> I have got to know. I... <laughs> there ain't nothing in that cup. I don't know what you trying to. Uh... I got sea balls. Leave me alone, Joy. <laughs> 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 Woo! Victoria 
Thomas and oxygen, honey. Gag. <laughs> oh. Okay, now. Okay, moving on. So, <laughs> and the thing about you, Joy, you <laughs> you keep a straight face. You be like. <laughs> So in tonight's episode, Winter is, you know, hosting the couple's trip. She would like for you guys to come. Um, you guys, you know, really did not want to be there because obviously you understood that there was this big thing going on with the Silvas. You decided to have separate accommodations. Um, did you think going into the cabin that... Clifton quick would not even give you a dab. Were you were you were you surprised by that? I I mean, the permission slip has to be requested at least a week in advance. If he shook my hand and that scene, he would have got beat up when he got home. So I understand why he didn't shake my hand too. Right? It's cool, but at the same time, that's an olive branch because I know it was no issue. At the end of the day, we we're here. We're we're trying to move forward with the show. It's called conflict resolution. So I try to be cool and cordial and move forward because we want to move the show forward as a group, right? That's how I see it. So if we're all not talking, we don't really have a show, do we? Nope. Do you think? Obviously, you know, we have more episodes and a three-part reunion, but as things stand today, is there a world where the two of you can see that there's a a, a, a tiny glimmer of hope for a, a, a resolution? In hell. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Ask it. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Well, you know, you know, um, I think a lot of us have hope, but everyone has to have hope. And when it comes to like conflict resolution, it has to be everyone who wants to resolve. Um, is it possible? I mean, anything is possible. Um, it's just it's a little difficult when you have threats thrown in there. Right. And that it, it takes it to a different level. Oh, the, because, it, and then, you know, when you see a person and they're the, the threats are basically for television. Right. So it's a whole different energy. Which one is it? Right. It's the bashing for me. It's the it's okay. the social media bashing that's been going on for like, you know, a couple months. And, you know, it's just, you know, you're really saying how you really feel. And I don't even know after everything that, you know, from winter to Ashley, like what's being said. I mean, technically, they're having their own conversation on X because they're talking to themselves like they podcast. But, you know, if. Yeah, fix your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, once you say all of that, everything that you're saying about about people bashing them, trashing them, all that kind of stuff, talking about their household, whatever is going on, whatever lies and this and whatever. You think we're going to be able to sit here and break bread with you now? That, and that's the tough part. But again, you know, it's a show. We we want, you know, we have to come together as a unit eventually, mm -hmm. right? Otherwise, then what's left, right? No, so like that, that was, yeah. that was my thought process there. I'm like, you know mm -hmm. what? The entire you time. All this shit about me, but, you know, I'm going to still extend you this olive branch, mm -hmm. right? And try to move forward the show. Mm-hmm. But then there's that thing like integrity. Like there's just certain things exactly. that I'm like, the, the reason why she may say she doesn't like Clifton is the same reason why I don't deal with the Duncans. So it, it's it's the same thing. You don't mess, you don't like my husband. Okay, well, I can't rock with you. Same thing. She, she doesn't like my husband. Well, I can't rock with you. Like it, it really is one of those things. And so at some point, everyone, if coming together has to, if coming together is to happen, everybody has to want that. And with that, knowing them boundaries, because ain't, ain't too many more uh, bitches going to be flying when it comes about my husband. 
No, and and listen, as the creator of the show, I don't want that either. You know, I definitely know for a fact that in order for the show to move forward, there has to be some resolution. Do you are you guys ever going to be the best of friends? I mean, listen, yeah, who knows? Yeah. Well, the thing is this. I I remember and I'm I'm, I'm just being real. Mm -hmm. I remember um Everyone's saying, and by everyone, I mean Winter and Ashley and Irena, that it would be a cold day in hell be before any of them were able to be friends. I mean, they literally said this at the reunion and on camera um, because of, of things that Winter were saying, and they were saying to Winter, all those things, right? Mm -hmm. So listen, stranger things have happened because now they're cool. And what I will like, all jokes aside, and listen, one thing that I do with all of you guys this is the open floor for it to be funny. You know, none of this stuff is like, it's, it's all fun. So I want the audience to know that too, but there has to be a situation to where um, people have to move on. And, and, and listen, I strongly believe that there is a world where that can happen because you are right, Joy, and you are right, Clifton. Everybody has to want it. And is that going to happen today after this, um, <laughs> this conversation? now but it's only march uh second so you know more episodes are going to air and i don't want to spoil anything for and the more audience. bashing will continue which means every time they bash us on x is going to that little bridge going to keep burning 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 to ashes and dust like <laughs> <laughs> well some of us have actual lives we don't have time to go on you know X and type yeah. something every two minutes. I don't got time to be sitting in our basement all day. We you just know, don't. I just don't have the time. I have real shit to do. Mm -hmm. Like he's in LA. I'm in Atlanta. <laughs> We're busy. <laughs> London Bridge is burning down. No, 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 no. Some bridges can be um, repaired and Listen, mm -hmm. I am the bridge maker. So I will do what I can to make sure that everybody comes to a cohesive solution for the time being because it's important for the show and the life of the show. And I love all of you guys for the show because look, it's not every day that, you know, the two of you, for example, can come into a show second season and really fit in like a glove. Obviously, things happen towards, you know, the middle to end. But the initial From the first scene, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right on burn. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Um, obviously, before filming, you and Ashley actually said in tonight's um episode that when she met you, she felt like you and her had a connection. Did you feel mm -hmm. the same way upon me? Yeah, her? I, I liked Ashley, I did, but then I started to get to know her because when a person gets upset, that's when you really get to see how a person is. You got to see a person, you know. And all their many facets, not just when they're happy, not when you're having a drink and a good time. Mm -hmm. You got to see when a person's mad because then they're going to really tell you how they feel about you. Speaking of which, um, let's get into this throupling um, mythology that has been thrown around. I see the two of you um, definitely have had fun with it just based on like some comments here or there. Um, but I want you guys to set the record straight. Um, obviously we'll get into this at the reunion, but Carmen recently was on, um, Ashley and Winters live on YouTube mm -hmm. and she intimated joy that, um, you told her that she had to, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but long story short, she pretty much intimated that allegedly you told her that she had to come for Ashley. Did you, did you, did you see that or, or hear about this? No. Wait a second. Say that one more time. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, Carmen intimated that, you know, she was sent um, by Joy to pretty much come for Ashley. Again, I'm paraphrasing, but okay. that, was, that was the basis of it. B baby. I mean, I guess you got to secure your spot in one way or another. I've never heard that before. Right. Joy. Me, me <laughs> I, 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 I sent someone to come for Ashley. Really? Let's be clear now. 
after the Christmas Eve Eve party, Carmen went back over to Ashley's house at the party she had that wasn't filmed. So, you know, I just got kicked out of Ashley's house. If you really my friend, you really Clifton's friend, why are you going back over to Ashley's house? Why do you think she did that? Because she's clout chasing. She need a spot. She want a spot. Why do you think everyone is where they are right now? Why do you think when Ashley had been talking so much stuff about Carmen, about how she dressed, her contacts, all that kind of stuff, they all doing stuff together now? My enemy, my enemy, come on. Everybody, th these cameras, Carlos, I'm telling you, these cameras, they bring out them snakes. Not the snakes, they just bring out the real person. You know, okay. snake, real person, reptile, whatever. Not reptile. <laughs> <laughs> are you, um, are you guys friends with Carmen today? Clifton, you frozen? Oh, you hear, what? <laughs> <laughs> I asked the question: Are you two? still friends with Carmen today? Nope, I was done with Carmen March of last year. Cl 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 Clifton? Um... Clifton ain't friends with it either. <laughs> friendships, friendships are seasonal and most friendships, you know, happen in the summer, not really the winter. No, they're he, they're not friends. <laughs> like, like, snap, snap. That, not a metaphor for something. <laughs> Look, do your short division, you might get the answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> you two are a a a, a gaggle of fun. So <laughs> you having a good time. We we have the rest of the season to unfold before we get into our three part reunion, um, which was definitely explosive and interesting and has some comedic moments. But what can the two of you tell the audience about what's to come, not only on this trip and how things end, but also for the reunion? Well, I could tell you what's not going to come. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Oh. I like the side of you. I want to see more. <laughs> You're fun. Um, what do, what's to come is uh, it's going to be more of what you're seeing every single episode. It, it's going to be the drama. It's going to be no I'm accountability. Kidding. It's going to be some tears. It's going to be some laughs. It's going to be a whole bunch of, you know, you know, just stay tuned. The reunion is fire. I'm just going to, the reunion is fire. I think it is, isn't it? I mean, well, the first, it is, two, though. It's, first it's, two minutes of it. Oh my God. <laughs> The first two minutes, I'm like, what is happening here? And then, <laughs> first of all, everyone looked gorgeous. <laughs> and not only that, I, I remember being at the reunion, being like, I really do love this cast because there isn't a weak link. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, like some shows, there's like a weak link. Like, you, you know, it's like, it's like that one got to go because they, they just don't have... <laughs> you know, the I and the T. Mm -hmm. I remember sitting there like, wow, this this really, it feels like DC. It feels very East Coast. Um, it's, um, <clears throat> they're just, there's no weak link. Everybody looks good and everybody, everybody speaks their mind. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for a long time and I know there's certain people who just don't like to speak their mind and that's their prerogative child. But all of y'all are very strong individual, strong personalities and truly have the it factor. And I, I just remember sitting there talking to my producers like, I love this cast. I, I think you guys, and again, I'll say this over and over. I love this show because y'all are funny. 
And <laughs> that to me, it is like, listen, drama's drama and all that's that. But I think fundamentally what we love about Love and Marriage DC is even when things get hot, you can always find room to laugh because y'all confessionals and y'all 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 are wordsmith and it's so funny. So I just wanted you guys to know that. I, I think well, let me just say that was not our experience. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Glad you felt that way, but ah! you gotta live, you gotta live through it, boo-boo. <laughs> it wasn't I'm just me. saying, I really, I really liked it. I really listen, and look, what I will say is. There's, you know, you're going to see some surprises towards the end and then things sort of like happen. But I, I just wanted to say that I really, I really do enjoy um, this cast. I think you guys are super underrated, super underrated because you guys are, are really top tier, top tier. And I want the world to know that. And, and, and just so you know, Cliff, on. I am wearing your beard, your unisex beard oil. <laughs> I love it. Probably way. selling more than her books. Um, it was a New Jersey Times bestseller, wasn't it? What? <laughs> anyway, but it's fiction, right? It's a fiction book, right? I'm trying to talk. Somebody told me you had to get past like the misspellings first. I didn't. I didn't see it, but I. I just heard. That. But it's a fiction, isn't it? A fiction book. I mean, <laughs> right? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Carlos. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, a really a blout, shady boots. <laughs> but no, I just wanted to say, I Clifton did gift me with the beard oil and i do wear it i wore it at the reunion and it really look because I, I love my beard so as you guys can see it's very shiny it's very it, lush it, it, it is and, and it's soft and it smells good so i wanted mm -hmm. them to know like real talk like all jokes aside i really really love your beard oil and i wear thank you, it like thank you so much carla thank you for i really appreciate that. it he knows, <laughs> that. He knows that he knows that he knows that so I, I just want the world to know that it, it does work, and I really, really do love it. And, it's, and it smells good. It does. <laughs> it, it pairs with any fragrance. Mm -hmm. Yes. My African is very happy. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> so look. Oh, gosh. The petties, the petties, the petties. I have never met a couple whose last name fits them so well. Let the world know where they can find you, follow you, support you, support all of your extra endeavors as well. Oh, me first? Oh, you well, go ahead. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, follow me, Joy Carter Music, Joy with an I. That's on all social media platforms. Check me out, Philadelphia, April 12th at City Winery. Come get drunk with us. <laughs> And you can find me on Clifton the Fourth Instagram and CNC Beard Oil on Instagram as well. I can also tell you a late night bedtime story if you'd like to hear my voice. That's coming up next. <laughs> okay, that's for me. They gonna have no, to pay for we, that. We're gonna we're gonna sell this. They gonna have to pay for that. That's all. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait, are you really doing something with your voice? Absolutely. He better be. <laughs> like coming an audio soon. book. Coming soon to a theater near you. You should read the audio book to do that shit. To do what? <laughs> look, my answer is fuck. Oh, look at me. Listen. No, my I answer say, is fuck. Wait, that shit. am I am I late? Am I catching the shade with the shirt? Yes, you don't get it. Oh my god, I did not catch it until now. Come on, I am slow. You it out early. You supposed to reel it in. Y'all been shady since point one second. Yes. Hello. Up. I just got it. Record breaking. Oh gosh. Oh God. <laughs> I right, listen. Ding ding ding. <laughs> wow. Listen. I may be. <laughs> I may be late, but baby, I'm always on time. Okay. So everybody, love and marriage, DC. We are back better than ever every Saturday, eight o'clock, seven central. And make sure if you missed it, catch it on the DVR or on the own app as well. Joy and Clifton Petty, I love you guys. Stay beautiful. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Carlos. Stay great. 
You guys are a, a, a completely fantastic addition to this crazy show. And I'm so happy that you guys are part of it. Thank you. Catch us on every Saturday at, at 8 p.m. Love and Marriage DC own network. Good night, y'all. Clinton, <laughs> but you know he used to do that when we were um when we were dating. He used to he would no he would read me like a bedtime story. Remember like Good Night Moon mm -hmm. or the Samuel Jackson uh go to go to fuck the bed whatever. Yes. Like I literally he would literally read that to me <laughs> in order for you to. Get ready for bed. No, I mean that, but just to hear his voice and I mean, yeah. Clifford, <laughs> you, 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 you a problem. I can. <laughs> you, you give I'm me quiet. a quiet. I'm a you quiet like person. A Rick Ross, Barry White type. You a problem. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Joy, you, <laughs> Joy, be having fun. All right, I love you guys. Love you <laughs> thank, 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 thank you for having you. us. Everybody yes. has enjoyed this. I love you guys, and I'll we see you. We love you back. Yes. Bye, Bye guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>